are actually were many thanks for joining us. Uh, so chair, we're coming in for the NBFC sector. But our next story is bereft of any chair. Most Indian companies have shaken off the recession dust and are shuffling to their feet. But not the Indian subsidiary of 30-year-old US-based IT product company Think3 Inc. CNBC TV 18 learns that Think3 Inc. has not been paying its Indian subsidiary Think3 India and has even withdrawn management support, leaving employees out on a limb. Benita Atre gets you that story. Last year, this office used to bustle with a hundred odd employees developing the latest CAT products. But now, there are only vacant chairs and desks with a thick crop of dust and printers and coffee machines that don't work anymore. This is the office of Think3 India, the 100% subsidiary of the US-based 30-year-old IT product company, Think3 Inc. The tough times began in 2009 when the Sonar hit parent company stopped paying its subsidiary for products that the Indian arm had co-developed and shared intellectual property rights on. CNBC TV 18 learns that starting October 2009, Salaries to the Indian employees were delayed and since April this year, not one of the 87 employees has been paid. The total outstanding, 3 crore rupees. Some hope came in September this year when Think3 Inc. merged with ELW Capital. Employees in India, we learn, were promised salaries and statutory clearances. But sources say that after the merger, the new management stopped assigning work to the Indian team. Now. The board of directors in India have quit, leaving crumbling infrastructure and rudderless employees behind. Legal notices sent by the employees to ESW Capital have not helped either. We have sent a legal notice to all, all responsible as employees to, so as to retrieve our dues or asking them to pay up our dues and uh, they have responded saying that they are not responsible for the same whereas all other information that we have point to the contrary that they have acquired Think3 Inc and hence they are responsible for the assets and liabilities of Think3 India but they have outright rejected all of this. There are questions about the merger as well. The merger document sent to the shareholders claims that Think3 Inc merged with ESW Capital. However, CNBC TV 18 learns that the new management's press releases and customer presentations associated with Vasata. So where does Vasata fit in? CNBC TV 18 has not received any response to queries made to Vasata or ESW Capital. That leaves the employees in no man's land. They plan to file a case against Think3 India but are worried that the absence of clear laws for MNC operations in India won't help their cause. Also, they don't have enough funds to pursue a legal recourse in the US against the parent company. In Bangalore, Vinita Atre. Tough times for Think3 India. Employees of them not paid since April. 